Hi and welcome back, my name is Emily. In this video we're gonna take uh, a look at some of the new products that will be released tomorrow. So this is the last of the sneak peeks that you will get before all of the this amazing release is live in the shop. So I know that you will find a lot of things that will be like interesting to you and I wanted to share some of my favorites from the release and it's uh, these uh, three fun coordinating products uh, that works really nicely together. So it's a stencil called Layered Pensenual, maybe it's called that. <laughs> I will link it down below and by the way I will go back and link it with the, the links when the release is live so you will not get disappointed when they are not working. And I also you will use uh, the Lighthouse Dye, another fun one, and Sunset on the Sea. It's, uh, you can see it to the right in the screen. It's a dye with a coordinating hot foiling plate. So I will use all of these today. And you can see my stencil here is uh, masked off some of the areas just so I don't mess up when I'm using my brushes here. And you can see I went really lightly in the middle here. I'm imagining that the light or the sun, I probably should say, is hitting the water and making that part lighter than the rest of the sea. So now I will carefully remove this stencil and just move it down and mask it off again and continue building my scene here. So now we are a little bit closer to you and away from the sun. So I will go in um, with a little bit of a darker color here. And I will also go in and just use my brushes on top of our stenciling. So we are smoothing out those hard edges. And I will also go in with some black distress ink, just because I wanted this to have a more of a, so you can see the dye, the night um, like creeping in on you uh, and I also created a sunset so I'm using a combination of uh, pink red and yellow here so this was no like nothing fancy I just went in with these two colors or three colors and blending them as much as I can out and I will also bring the red color or the pink color down a little bit and then go in and follow um, the edges with the black color as well just to intensify and darken that a little bit up um, and then we will do our hot foiling and i probably should have mentioned this in the beginning but i used a really smooth cardstock from uh, spellbinders this is meant for hot foiling and if you have trouble ink blending I promise you, you will not be disappointed with this card stop because it's perfect for that as well. So um, yeah, and for my sun and the reflection in the water, I went with the same color. You can see that they are split, so you can use different foils if you like, but I wanted them to be together. So here is my Glimmer hot foiling system. I have taped everything in place. I will turn my paper and push the button and heat my platform up. And when the light hits green and um, everything is ready and I run it through my big shot and here you can see the result and how everything looks when I'm pulling this off so you can see my die actually came off but it was okay because this foiled perfectly I will just move my platform away and we can take a look at our project here so you can see I will carefully peel this off and I just love this foil. It's probably the one I get the best result with. It's um, really, really beautiful. This gold, um, shimmery gold um, color, really beautiful. So here it is once more, just so you can see how pretty that foiled on top of this paper and on top of all of the uh, inking that we did. So here is the lighthouse and it comes with a lot of separate pieces that you can decorate it with. I will speed this process up, process up but you can see um, a little bit of how I decorated all the windows and of course you will see a close-up here in a second on how it looks. So here it is, you can see to the left in the screen. I will go in and matte my panel since we did a lot of ink blending and foiling on top. It sort of made my panel um, a little bit wobbly, if that makes sense. So I wanted to have some more thickness to it. 
So I went in and just matted it with a black mat. And then I played around with my lighthouse because I wanted this to fit on the screen. Or sorry, on my project here. But I didn't know where to put it. And this is more meant for, I would say, um, maybe a slimline card or a mini slimline one. But I went in and just cut it off and it looks like the rest of this lighthouse is on shore and we just can't see where the base is because it's so huge. I also uh, off camera heat set a sentiment for our card. This is also from one of the newer sets that will be released tomorrow. And I played around with the placement. I had troubles making sure that I liked where it was positioned. In the end I went for it over my foiling there just so it ties everything together. And then I had some liquid adhesive to the back of this and pressed it down to a top folded note card. So before I get, forget to mention it, um, tomorrow uh, on the release day there will be a huge blog hop. Since this is a huge release there will be a huge blog hop with a lot of amazing designers. So don't miss that. I know that I will be creating a video and a coordinating blog post. So if you'd like to see that, uh, make sure to stop by. And I know there is also going to be fabulous prizes to be won. So make sure that you stop on all of the blog hops for a chance to win the prizes. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye!